Hello there fellow travellers and welcome to day number two of the advent. Um, hopefully you caught yesterday's video so I don't have to explain the uh, the rules of, of the advent or of what's going on and therefore I shan't take up too much of your precious time whilst you're out buying the perfect Brussels sprout for your Christmas dinner. Let's see who's behind door number two. Time for happies. Oh. So, as you can see on here, we have Magrathea, Builder of Worlds, Medieval Warrior Wargaming, uh, Modern History, Edict Bear 40k, and Dangi, Danji, um, Danji, Dangi, uh, apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I don't think I've uh, heard you say your channel name. Um, so yeah, to run through them, Magrathea, Builder of Worlds, a bloke called Tim over in uh, Essex, I believe it is. He uh, does all sorts of things outside of the wargaming community, uh, which are creative, and he's involved with an education program thing. Uh, but he does terrain building mainly on his channel. Uh, he's got an amazing uh, collection of, of creative Necron, not Necron, Necromunda, sorry, <laughs> terrain. Uh, and uh, he's massively into burrows and badgers, like hugely into it. He's got such brilliant designs. He's built an entire Red Wall Abbey from the series of books um, for his burrows and badgers. Um, and then we've got medieval. Warrior Wargaming, that's uh, Nick over at that channel. He's got such just a brilliant collection of varying sizes of, of medieval figures. Um, I think they've mainly centered around 100 years war, but um, but yeah, uh, just amazing collection of figures and very knowledgeable about the thing. He does uh, videos where he presents it with excerpts from the audiobook from Bernard Cornwall as well. So when you're looking at the figures, you really get like that flavor of. Um, of the history um, but um, it also reminds me a lot of when I used to uh, go out with my family we used to do tours of like abbeys or uh, castles or whatever and then you've got the audio tour and you sort of go into the main hall and hear the monks or whatever so it's really kind of cool it takes me back nostalgic wise well, modern history talking of medieval history this is a gentleman who um, I believe he used to work in IT uh, and gave it all up to become a knight um, and so he he's trains war horses, he does jousting, he does medieval uh, fighting uh, and then runs a channel where he, he basically does experimental archaeology history where he, he experiments, you know, how do you write with a quill? Well I'll find out, I'll make a quill and my own ink and write with it, that sort of thing, you know, uh, so it's very interesting to watch that. He's been a bit sporadic recently but uh, a bit interesting to watch. Uh, Idik Beer 40k. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody needs an introduction to this gentleman. He's uh, a very uh, prolific, well known, uh, suddenly famous YouTuber, um, mainly centered around the, the Necron faction of 40k. Um, and it's just a wonderful channel to watch, a wonderful channel to um, follow. And I apologize. And if that is another Nick, I apologize, Nick. Uh, I've not. Uh, been able to keep up with the channel quite as much as I'd like. I think that's true for, for many of the channels on these lists. Uh, unfortunately, uh, work has got very busy, so I do apologise to all of you chaps and chap heads out there that I've not followed as much as I wish I could. And the last one is Dangi Dangi. Uh, he's an Australian bloke that I follow. He's another converter. Um, this is the second new converter on the list. Um, he builds different figures, kit bashes them into new figures to fit his various different collections and different uh, models. So the last one he did was a um, something based on an orc comic, I think it was, orc graphic novel of a, a grot with a giant robot strapped to its back and it was just, just a bit of fun, a bit of a laugh, um, but also very fun to watch him build it and where he's got all the pieces from and how he's used them all together. So that's that. Um, it's only been five minutes, but I shall let you guys go and enjoy your day, and I hope you have a wonderful second day of Advent. See you tomorrow.